I woke up this morning to hear two pieces of news in the world of wrestling, more specifically WWE. One of them I was expecting to hear because rumors have been running rampant as far as the date for SummerSlam, which is going to be on a Saturday, August 21st. The location will be announced on the 5th of June. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. The other piece of news that caught me completely off guard was that WWE and New Japan are having negotiations for a working agreement, for a partnership. And let me tell you, I've been wanting WWE to start working with other promotions for a long, long time, especially with New Japan. And to hear this news excites me a whole lot. Now, I don't know about the whole exclusive thing. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know how I feel about that part. But everything else, though, you know, I think that especially with the rumor going around that Daniel Bryan is a big part of why these negotiations are happening because Daniel Bryan has been, you know, it's no secret that he wants to go off and work in other promotions. So I think it's actually possible that this could happen. I think it's definitely possible that this partnership between New Japan and WWE could happen. And I, I look at it as, okay, well, think of, think of the matchups because I don't watch New Japan all that often. I don't, um, uh, I don't really watch it outside of Wrestle Kingdom, and I haven't seen a Wrestle Kingdom in a while, maybe about a year or two, but I do keep tabs on the news and how New Japan's been going through a hard time, uh, basically ever since the pandemic, and that they really haven't gotten out of this rut. AEW, WWE, uh, NWA, they've all kind of started doing their own thing again. And New Japan's been kind of stuck in a rut of basically just pure unluck. Will Ospreay had to vacate the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship because he got injured. So now we don't really know what's going to happen with that. And that there have been reports that there, you know, that a lot of talent in New Japan have been pretty unhappy with the way that things have been handled over there. Uh, but I do think that. A partnership between the two could give both companies the spark that they need. Imagine Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins at Wrestle Kingdom or the G1 or Okada and Ibushi at or Tanahashi at a, you know, like one of the big four, like a, a Royal Rumble or a WrestleMania, a SummerSlam. We could give Survivor Series new life instead of this Raw versus SmackDown stuff, we could make it WWE versus New Japan and really give Survivor Series the spark that it needs again, in my opinion. You know, there's so much fun stuff that you could do with this, and I'm not sure if this partnership extend. I don't think since it's just with New Japan that it'll extend to stardom, since Bushi Road owns both New Japan and Stardom, it would be awesome if it did. You know, like imagine Charlotte Flair or Asuka uh, going over to Stardom, or uh, imagine Io Shirai going back to Stardom for a, for for a little bit, uh, or some of the people over in Stardom like Julia going over to WWE to work a match or two. That would be fun. I'm not sure if that partnership extends all the way to stardom, but it would be dope if it did. Which, you know, like, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to get. Ahead of, uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I just think that this is very interesting, and I think that it's a very ex uh, that this is very exciting because there are rumors that WWE wanted to start a partnership with M MLW, and that now there are rumors that WWE wants to start a, a partnership with New Japan, and I think that it shows that they're not, you know. They're really trying to not be isolated from the rest of the wrestling world because I've been very adamant, you know, that WWE needs to start working with other promotions because they aren't the only one. They're in their own bubble and that they need to start working with 
you know, a New Japan or an ROH or an Impact or whoever's out there. And I think that having a partnership with New Japan is going to be really exciting. But we're going to have to see if this actually happens, though. Um, I think that it's definitely possible. Will it happen? We're going to have to wait and see.